Hello, this is Ford Brewer, um, Dr. Brewer with state-of-the-art heart attack and stroke prevention and longevity, access for all. Today I'm talking about TMAO. That stands for trimethyl arginine inoxide. Long scientific word, who cares, what, what's it mean? You should care. Here's why. If your blood level of TMAO is increased, your chances of dying from a heart attack or stroke or all the disabilities associated with atherosclerosis are greatly increased. Uh, this has also got to do with uh, gut microbiome or uh, the, the bacteria in your colon. So let's talk about all that. <clears throat> First of all, in 2017, in January, the European Journal, uh, Heart Journal, published a study where they looked at people coming into the ER with chest pain or symptoms of stroke. They simply measured the TMAO level. If, the, if that level was increased, the patient was six times more likely to have a heart attack or stroke. Uh, arguably, the top journals in medicine and biology uh, published information on TMAO back in 2013, the New England Journal and Nature. TMAO was shown to be an independent risk factor for heart attack and stroke and plaque. Now, <clears throat> independent risk factor means it didn't matter whether you had diabetes or not, it didn't matter whether you had high blood pressure or not, and it didn't matter whether you had the other risk factors. If your TMAO was elevated, you were more likely to have plaque, heart attack, and stroke. How does TMAO become elevated? Well, it's very much linked to your diet and the, uh, your gut micro, uh, micro. Again, the bacteria in your gut. Now, how does that happen? Let's look at a couple of, uh, a couple of ways to understand this. So, <clears throat> this was the illustration that was in the, um, the article in January 2013 in Nature. Basically what happens is this. Uh, TMAO comes from uh, carnitine or choline in your diet. Two of the biggest sources of carnitine are beef and um, lamb has a lot of uh, carnitine as well. Guess what has choline? Egg yolks. So you eat those, they're bacteria in your colon, they act on the carnitine or choline, then uh, that carnitine or choline is turned into TMA, trimethyl arginine. That is then transported to your liver the liver oxidizes it to form TMAO. That TMAO, again, uh, increases the body's plaque deposition in your arteries and therefore your risk for heart attack and stroke. What are some other big sources of carnitine? Well, look on uh, food labels. The energy drinks like Monster and Rockstar have a lot of carnitine in them. Uh, weight loss and muscle building supplements all have, oh, well not all, but most of them have a lot of carnitine in them. So again, you should think twice when you're looking at uh, even something that's supposed to be as healthy as a weight loss supplement. Thank you. This is Ford Brewer with uh, Heart Attack and Stroke Prevention.